Hi, this is Max Williams with United Real Estate, and today I'm in Henrico County. More specifically, I am in Short Pump, and today we're going to take a look at a four bedroom, three and a half bath home. This is new construction, and it features a two car garage, and we're situated on about a half an acre. If you've been watching any of my 500 or so videos, you know that it's rare for me to cover new construction. Uh, the vast majority of the homes that I cover are foreclosures and bank owned properties. So I thought I'd mix it up a little bit. I want to bring a little bit more diversity here to you in 2017. As you can see here in Central Virginia, we had a little bit of snow. We're not quite used to this. I didn't sign up for this, but that's what Mother Nature has dealt us here. So decided to come on out and break the cabin fever and bring this beautiful new home to you. I spoke with the builder slash agent here earlier today and um, they actually did the home next door which is pretty much the same floor plan they did a, a few different colors and finishes on it and um, I was in that one a couple weeks ago I wanted to show you this one here which has gray as the overriding accent color we're gonna start off here to the right we've got a small room here this is interesting because it looks like they designed this as an office uh, there are no closets and therefore it's definitely not a bedroom and it's probably a little bit conservative to make it a formal space uh, from the standpoint of a living room uh, we've got nice tall ceilings we've got crown molding plenty of detail here throughout this home and we're open there to the family room we're going to take you back to the front of the home and uh, go the other direction we do have a really nice convenient powder room right here they did nice contemporary finishes in this home Okay, we've got a staircase there, of course, going up. And to the left here, our formal dining room. Plenty of nice details, as you can see. We've got a nice tray ceiling, crown molding, and it's still a very nice open floor plan. Uh, one of the best things I like about being an agent is having a chance to chat with people from all walks of life, and they're in different stages in their life interested in real estate. Uh, just a few days ago, I spoke with a really nice family and they actually are relocating here from, I believe it's, uh, I think it may be Ohio. It's somewhere that's about 10 hours away. And uh, they un unfortunately came and got caught in this storm and uh, were not really able to look at homes. Uh, but they're definitely in a position where they have to buy and they've got some pretty specific requirements, but the challenge is trying to do that from a long, long distance. And uh, I volunteered uh, for them if they uh, needed me as a buyer's agent to actually video their top choice, I'd be happy to do that and then send them the seven or eight minute video just like we're doing along with my assessment of the property. And that way that could help them kind of narrow it down and potentially even make an offer just off of the video. People do, uh, believe it or not, make offers on properties even though they may not have physically seen them just depending on the situation but i believe that video is a great way to actually make the home come to life so they can see exactly what's in place uh, i'll give you an example a few years ago i looked at a home that was a foreclosure the price looked very attractive i went out to take a look and the agent did not disclose that there was no kitchen basically every kitchen cabinet uh, every appliance, countertops, everything. It was just an empty room with wires and plumbing. And while they don't have to take pictures of every room, I think it's pretty disingenuous to not disclose that a house does not have a kitchen uh, for a couple of reasons. Number one, obviously a kitchen in a $600,000, $700,000 price range home is pretty expensive to replace. Secondly, the home is not financeable. That means somebody cannot get a traditional mortgage and finance the home and then obviously uh, close and move in. If they are not working with cash or if they don't go and get a special renovation loan, they can't buy the house. So things like that kind of perturb me uh, not having full disclosure. Uh, I'm a big, big fan of telling people exactly what the situation is. If there's something that I see that's not quite right, because ultimately they're going to make their decision regardless, and they're going to have more respect for me as real, real estate professional if I give complete disclosure. Okay, this is a second floor 
I like to call it a second floor family room because it's big enough where you could easily do a nice big uh, TV, the accompanying furniture, and just have a really nice space on the second floor without having to go up and down the steps. Uh, we've got a full bath there. This is a really nice laundry room here. Brought in a sink. Your washer dryer would go there. You've even got a window to look out back and plenty of storage right there. Okay, we're gonna pop across. One good thing about this home that's just under 3,000 square feet is you get bedrooms and space allocation that is really, really nice and in tune with the modern lifestyle. So you don't have tiny, tiny masters or a, like the home that I showed today, uh, we had a home that was actually a uh, property that had a half bath off of the master. And back in the 70s, believe it or not, that was not that unusual for them to do that. It doesn't make sense in today's standards to have a half bathroom off of a master, but they did that back in the 70s for whatever odd reason. Another secondary bedroom here and a good size closet. These are mini walk-in closets actually. It's a good allocation of space. We've got a pull down attic. This home does have a two zone heating and air. When you get into this size of home, it's important to be able to cool and heat up and downstairs independently. And uh, this home of course does have that. Uh, the other great thing about new construction is that shower heads will always be in place and Max Williams will never have to pay for a shower head replacement, which is my policy. We've got a nice tray ceiling here with recessed lights. We are in the master, a ceiling fan in place as well. This walk-in closet, this closet is bigger, almost bigger than some homes that I've sold here in the past year. So plenty of space for the occupants of this master bedroom. Okay, and here we are. This is the magical room. This is our master bath. Really nice wide vanity and mirror. Well, you could probably get a family of three or four in that tub. Notice the nice tile accents. And of course, a beautiful shower once again with nice tile all the way to the ceiling. Really, really nice, well done construction here. Uh, laundry, excuse me, storage here in the linen closet. And we've got a own little private room here for the throne. So this is a really nice, well done home, new construction. It also is walking distance to an elementary school. If you're at all familiar with the schools here in Western Enrico, they are very highly respected. Every middle school and high school student gets a laptop. Their laptops are actually nicer than the one I use day to day in my business and my tax dollars funded that. How interesting is that? If you have any questions about this or any other home on the market, Max Williams, 402-7788. It can be reached on Facebook, Richmond Area Foreclosures on YouTube under my name, Max Williams Realtor. Thanks so much for taking the tour. Have a great day.